So I've just spent the last couple of months applying for jobs as a data scientist and I was finding the whole process of applying for jobs quite laborious so I decided to write some code to automate some of the process. So there's multiple stages of the whole getting a job process. Um, the first is finding the jobs that you might want to apply for then seeing which ones actually you do want to apply for you know like do you have the right skills and is it the kind of thing you want to be doing. Uh, then actually applying for it, like sending off your CV, cover letter, filling out an application form, and then kind of after that, like interview and the whole application process. And I decided to write some code that would help me automate the first stage because I felt that was the one that you know made the most sense to try and automate. Um, so I wrote some code that basically looked at different job websites and lifted off um, the potential jobs and just returned those into an Excel document. And if you're interested in seeing the code itself, then I've shared that on my GitHub um, and I've also shared a blog post where I go into a bit more of the technical detail behind how I did this. So feel free to check those out if you're interested. So the first step was to get the job listings. So I used a Python library called Beautiful Soup. And basically the way it works is you uh, look at the different elements on the page and you find out the relevant ID tag. So you need to know a bit of HTML. Um, and then you can interact with those specific tags. So for example, on a job website, there'll be a list of the jobs and you just want to find the div that contains all of those jobs. So you then write some code to extract that div. And within that div, you'll have multiple different jobs. So you just want to loop over each of the jobs within that div and try and pick up the relevant features. And again, this involves looking at the divs and there'll probably be divs within the divs, which uh, has the relevant code in. So you can just find those um, and again, extract those, extract the relevant information and just store that in the appropriate variable. Typically for me, I would look at the job title. I would look for the location. I would look for, I'd get the description, I'd get the URL, and I think maybe also the salary as well. And after that, you can just take all that data, save it into a Pandas data frame, and then export that into Excel. I tested that code on various different websites and I found that it worked on indeed.com um, and there's a few other websites as well. When I looked at CW Jobs and when I looked at LinkedIn, I saw that actually the code didn't work because when you're using Beautiful Soup, you can just modify the URL directly. So you can put data science as the query and then it'll load up that page. And then so you can use Beautiful Soup to directly extract the information from that page. Um, but for some of the other websites, the query actually it kind of varied and there wasn't really a standard way that you could put data science as a term in there because some of the other um, you know, parts of that URL would change. So then I had to actually interact with the website itself. And the way that I interacted with the website is I used something called a Selenium web driver. And basically that lets you open up a web browser such as Google Chrome, and it will automatically interact with that using the code that you've written. So what I find I had to do is write some code that would open CW jobs um, in this Selenium web browser. It would then type in the term data science, type in the term London uh, and do that search. And then it would give me a page and I would then use Beautiful Soup to extract that page. Um, and then the same sort of principles apply. So you have all your um, HTML. Again, you look for the relevant IDs um, of the different divs. You then extract the relevant information for all these different jobs. And then I just looped over that. Um, again, stored that into this um, Pandas data frame and then altogether exported that into Excel. And this is pretty cool because it's the first time that I've used some code to basically directly interact with my web browser. So just seeing that like being running automated, um, I thought it was kind of cool. So then I had my, my working code. So just every single week I would run this and it would extract all the different jobs. I'd look through that list. I would then compare that to my kind of job skills and specifications and the kind of things I was looking for um, to get a short list, which I then sent off the applications for. I had a CV and a template for my cover letter. So I just used those um, sent off for various different applications. I then had the interviews um, and I shared a previous video about how I prepared for those interviews. Um, and I took a slightly unconventional approach um, when I was preparing for those. Um, and then thankfully, after about a month or month and a half, um, I was able to get this data science job that I'm starting on Monday. So I'm very excited about that. And I think that this code just made the whole process um, a little bit more bearable and, and uh, a bit more streamlined. To be honest, it wasn't like a complete game changer. I definitely could have still just gone on the website and just searched for data scientist and London and extracted the jobs that way. Uh, for me, I think the motivation was more just to like have a fun project to work on and, and to kind of learn from that experience. I think on the whole, the, the gains were fairly marginal. So if you're looking for a job, best of luck. If you're just here out of curiosity, then I hope that was interesting and I'll see you in the next video.